Hey guys, DM Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. You might already notice from the first moments of me speaking that I sound a little different. I'm recovering from the old influenza. So, I apologize for my voice sounding a little weird, a little weird. But I'm still going to give you some great quality content as per usual. So no worries on that front. Anyway. We made it to the top of Mount Coronet, or almost to the top of Mount Coronet. I don't think we're quite at the summit yet, but we're just about there. And, uh, yeah. We got a little bit more exploring to do. I don't quite remember exactly where I was. I'm a little conflabulated, physically, mentally, all kinds of things. I don't remember if I agreed to do that repel or not. I also forget if you do a repel if it does it even if you've already used one because that's kind of a jerk move. All right, anyway. My brain's a little foggy. All the medications I've been taking lately kind of have me feeling a little squirrely, but fear not. We're gonna do our best. All right, so we do have to go in this cave, I guess. This will be the only episode of Pokemon this week. Apologies for there not being one yesterday, but... Or wait. Yeah. No. Tuesday. Whatever day this goes up, there wasn't one earlier in the week. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's what I got for you. Everything's slowly coming together as my two brain cells smash into each other and... You know? So it's been a bit of a doozy. I don't recommend getting the flu. Actually, I would say if you can avoid it, I'd do that. It's not that fun. And I'm not really sure if it was the flu or just a really bad cold, but neither is fun. But bless Arceus for modern medicine. Got enough. Dayquil in my body to feel like a superhero right now. You gotta be careful with that stuff, though. Obviously, it's to uh, help get you back up on your feet, but man, there's nothing saying that medicines like that won't really turn your brain into mush. There will be moments when I'm trying to have conversations with people after I've taken a dose of it. And it's been in my system, and uh, I feel like a big mushroom. I'm having trouble like stringing thoughts together. Maybe that's just me. I don't know if that's everybody. Perhaps plenty of you take day quills, night quills, whatever, and you're highly functioning, and you're and you're great, and you're amazing, and you probably are. But me, I guess I'm just uh, I'm a lower functioning buffoon when it comes to stuff like this. What is this area down here? What is the point of this? I'm gonna go down and explore it, and there better be some cool treats or I'm gonna be disappointed. Okay, rare candy, I like that. Actually, I'm at the point too where I keep giving rare candies to Raymond because I want it to evolve, but it's causing Grayson to fall behind quite a bit, so. I should be giving it to Grayson actually because of the fact that the final evolution for Gabite isn't until 55. And I'm not, I'm not sure, really, if we're even going to hit 55 by the time we go to the Elite Four, so that'll be something worth considering. I also love like these random, super intense piano swells as we kind of casually explore this cave. Also, I do believe that that's a special event down there, maybe. Maybe we're not supposed to be here yet. I don't know. Maybe we are, who knows? And there was that female grunt up on the other side that we could have fought. I'm gonna think it's really funny when I go back and listen to this one through editing and I'm gonna sound like a big goof. That'll be fun. This is the first day that I've actually felt kind of a little bit of equilibrium, not to beat a dead horse or anything, but do you ever have that whenever you're ill? And, you know, you 
you know, you might just wind up in bed for a few days. And then you finally have that one day where you're like, all right, I can become a normal part of humanity again. I think this will this will do it, you know? My main problem is that when I have illnesses like this, they typically come in multiple waves and they're always predictable. So I'll start out with getting a little bit of a tickle in my throat that winds up turning into a full-blown sore throat. Then I'll have that for a couple days. Then once that's done, I wind up with just the nastiest congestion, sore throat, turns into, you know, the, the stuffy nose, the runny nose, alternating back and forth in the worst way. And then the coughing sets in, because at that point my body's like, all right, we're full of goo, we need to get the goo out. And that's how that happens. You start coughing a bunch. Thankfully this time though, I didn't get to the point where I was coughing so much that it made my chest hurt. You ever had that? That's the worst. Not a fan of that. Does this loop all the way around? It does. I'm breaking hearts by being, I'm breaking hearts by just being me. Classic heartbreaker. Heartthrob D mic. Can't blame you. Oh cool. A level 30 something Whirlpool. I feel like there should be a uh, a massive punishment for using a Wurmple at this point in the game. And that punishment is getting a Shadow Ball right in the face. Boom. Done. But yeah, today's the first day that I felt like I could be serviceable. was able to actually have conversations with people, which was nice. There was a lot of... A lot of moments where I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to function without hacking up a lung. That's the worst part too is like, I don't know if it is like the body is in tune with trying to sabotage me, but whenever there's like a, uh, you're having a, an important conversation with somebody potentially occupationally or, you know, with family. And then uh, all of a sudden, your body's like, all right, now we're going to cough enough that they can't understand you. So I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. And it's unfortunate, but thankfully that did not happen much today. Ooh, yes. Taking advantage of that flinch. We'll knock that beautifully out. Boom, done, got him. We're feeling pretty good. We really gave a lot of experience too. Nice. And we're getting up there in levels. I mean, actually, you know, I lied. There's a... Uh, there's a pretty heavy chance that we might actually hit 55 now that I think about it because we're in the 40s now. We have to do this fiasco today here. And then we also have to do, we have one more gym to do. Plus victory road. I don't know if there's really a whole lot of more content in between that prior to the Elite Four, but... Yeah, get out of here with your goofy bob haircut. Now down in that pit, I don't think we're actually supposed to do that part yet. I think we actually are supposed to come back here. I could be wrong, but this... This reminds me of... A quest that we have later on. I think this might be post-game content. We'll see. Yeah, so that's just an unnecessary flag. They're trying to keep you out of this. That's okay. We didn't even want to come in here anyway. But yeah, coming in here is a good little spurt of experience if you're in need of it. I always want to try to fight everybody. Not that I'm going to increase the Pokedex by fighting Galactic Grunts, but... And also, this was the... Was this not the top? Did I, like, miss something? Oh, I go this way, I guess. Or maybe I... No, I already did, because I fought that kid. Kid. I'm a, I'm a kid. What am I saying? I'm also fighting children. Yeah, I don't remember... Oh, wait. Maybe I was supposed to go in that cave. Oh, you know what? I thought I left the cave because of the way that I was 
facing, but in reality, I hadn't even entered it. Okay. We have almost reached the summit of Mount Coronet. See, forgetting that makes me feel like I have a tiny mushroom. Ugh, what am I doing? And see, I wasted, I wasted an entire rappel doing that. Good job, me. Hopefully you're ready for some pretty good content in this episode, at least. This episode is a pretty good one. Or at least what's going to be coming up. I don't want to... I don't want to tease things being too exciting prior to that moment because I cannot predict the future. I'm going to do my best here to keep things exciting for you. I might swap the team around a little bit too. Because these guys are getting a little over leveled, which I don't want exactly. Let's see. Yeah, let's get a... Uh, let's get Scarlet in there. The only downside to... Well, I guess I shouldn't say the only downside, but one of the down... I'll, oh, there we go. I forgot. We're a part dark type. Take that. Night Slash, baby. One of the downsides to the Elite Four coming up is... We're not going to be able to change our team out, which I think is a bummer. So you basically have to commit to six of your favorite mons. And I know that the majority of the Elite Four members only have five Pokemon, but I will be using the full six, so it semi-breaks the rules. But in fairness to me, I also went and I fought Candace with one less Pokemon, so it counts. So I'm going to use that as my makeup. The Elite Four all four of them so take that i don't want to hear it from you that's for your health actually the reality is this, i want to have the the full team for the final go yeah, it's more exciting that way you get to see all of your favorite your favorite mons hopefully and if not i'm sorry but i haven't decided what the final team is going to be like anyway eventually when this channel becomes more robust and i have millions and billions of subscribers and whatever by the time that happens youtube will probably be a thing of the past um it'll be a bag of stardust we're all made of stardust and uh yeah i would have had people vote but you know it is what it is there might be games in the future where you can vote i'd like to actually have some viewer participation and get y'all involved on different things I like to pick your brains playing these games in the way that I play them is fine, but I'm not married to any of this. You know, there's nothing when I play these games that I'm like, man, I have to play it like this. I mean, especially a game like Pokemon, it's so easy that having any sort of viewer participation is nice, but the only downside is like, you have to have a pretty heavy amount of people watch your stuff on the reg for any sort of viewer participation to even be remotely possible. Like, doing a poll and only having, like, five people vote on it doesn't really do a ton. I mean, it's nice, and, you know, I would appreciate any sort of feedback that I get, as I do whenever anyone comments on my videos. So thank you to everybody who does that, and will do that in the future. But in general, like, yeah, like, to have a robust sample size to really pick from, like, you gotta have... You gotta have some, some buns in the oven, if you know what I'm saying. It's not really the phrase I wanted, but... You get the idea. We're getting pretty close to level ups for a couple of our Pokemans. Um, let's see here. I would love to lose, lose. And you know, we're just gonna do it. As long as it doesn't use Turd Cutter on us too many times, we'll be okay. So yeah, in the future, hopefully there will be more viewer participation. I actually have an entire like gimmick in my head of, uh, of like a series I could do. That would be fun on this channel but it would require viewer participation. So we'll see how it goes. And maybe if I get enough people, I can make a Patreon and then endlessly shell myself out for it. Beat up. All right, what is beat up? Beat up, beat up. No one wants to be defeat up. The user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater the number of attacks. Is that good? I don't know if that's better than what I have right now. I mean, it is a dark move, and we are an ice type. Um, 
You know, I'm sure there's probably better dark mood we can get along the way. We'll hold off on that for now. I'm gonna look back at Sneasel's move set after I'm done recording, and it's gonna be the the best dark move it gets. The taste of defeat, huh? Speaking of taste, medicine, gross. I took, you know, like during the day, I would take Dayquil, and then at night, Nyquil, crazy. And man, it really was tough for me to get those medicines down. I'm not, I'm not somebody who particularly has an affinity for either of those. But the toughest thing I would say was just like, so the texture is kind of gross, but I don't know if this is like an off brand versus like a name brand thing. Um, like the name brand stuff that I had recently, it was like, I don't know if, it, if they're like making it cheaper, or like in a different way. But it was like, um, it was kind of watery, which I thought was interesting. In the past, I've had like the store brand over the counter flu cold stuff, and it was, um, it definitely was like, uh, like a thicker consistency, like more like a syrup. But this tasted kind of watery. Same with the, the actual cough syrup that I had too. So that was interesting. Um, Hopefully you don't, all don't mind me just blabbering about being sick. Hopefully this is the only time I am sick while I record. It actually has been. I've been making videos for the better part of about uh, when did I start? October? I don't know. Of last year? This year? I don't remember. I don't even know what time is. But yeah, I actually was doing really well. This is a bad matchup. I was actually doing really well once I uh, I switched from having the ability to taste to not taste. I say that like I chose that, but uh, I did not choose that, would not recommend. I like being able to enjoy the food and drinks I consume, but um, yeah, once I couldn't taste stuff, it made take the, taking the medicine a lot better, but then it also decreased my quality of life because I could not Taste my chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. But yeah, as much as like having soup is a good way to like get electrolytes and like the broth obviously is probably good for your throat. Man, like I looked at it the other day when I was eating it and I was thinking to myself like, wow, is shrinkflation running rampant on soup too? Because I was holding the can in my hand and like it I felt like I was holding like a like a kid's toy of toy of like a can of soup like it was so small I don't know if like eight ounces is like the normal amount of soup or anything but it didn't feel like very much all right so this is probably where things are gonna get funky um I want to switch my Pokemon out I feel like I haven't switched my Pokemon out in a long time and like some of the other ones are gonna be falling behind uh, let's get Steven in there Nah. Why not? I mean, I know it's coming, but uh, I feel like eh, you know what? It honestly, it it doesn't matter. Um, let me think. Demetri hasn't seen any any life in a long time. Neither has Craig. But I still have some youngins that I want to swap out. Let's get uh, yeah, Craig in there. And actually, you know, I think Sam will be more useful than Steven. That's good. That's great. And I will heal Grayson with one of my milks. Where's my where's my delicious milk at? I will. I have milked myself for Steven. Great. All right, here we go. Prepare yourself for pure chaos at the Spear Pillar. Listen to that music for a moment. It's very ominous. It's kind of hard to take it seriously though with these goofy looking fathead characters. Anyway, here we go. Something huge is gonna happen. Yeah, we're at the Spear Pillar. Everything gets huge at the Spear Pillar. Oh, it's a double battle. <laughs> I was not expecting that, okay. That's what peaked my audio, oops. Here we go. I don't know if the Pokemon that I'm going to even have now are going to be even a good fit. Oh no, they are. They're fine. Yeah. 
Dark team. This is actually pretty cool. Set up got Haunch Crow. Actually, well, I don't really have anything good good against Stunky, but we will try to freeze it. Yeah, not being able to taste food is kind of a bummer for me. I typically enjoy eating at least a couple times a day. And uh, in the process, tasting said food along the way is a lot of enjoyment for me. So when I can't have it, it does make me a bit on the bum side. Makes me feel like a bum. All right. Yeah, for uh, all, all intents and purposes, Sneasel's coming along pretty well. I will tell you, there is an evolution to Sneasel. There actually are two evolutions to Sneasel. Not in a three evolution tier, but a split evolution for those of you who have been playing Arceus, if you have. That is, uh, there's a new Hisui evolution, which I think is really interesting. And uh, it becomes one of your HM slave Pokemon in the game, which I think is kind of weird. It's a very weird looking Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I mean, Sneasel and its evolution have regional variant forms, so it's it's not like this version of Sneasel evolves into it and it's like, oh, it's so weird, like it starts weird, so. And it's not really too different either, which I thought was a little odd, like, I feel like when they redesigned some of the variants, they did a good job of making them different. And some of them they didn't, so it is what it is. But anyway. Ooh, pulverized by our bosses. What if that's my kink though? Okay, anyway. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Suzanne took a bit of a beating on that one. I don't know what I should start with. You know what, let's get Grayson in there. Oh, no, I don't need, that's not the right menu. Just let me do everything from the same spot that I want. All right, get Grayson in the tippy top there. We might have to do a double battle. Oh, look, it's, uh, it's Mars, it's Jupiter, and the boss. Do we know his name yet? I don't know, I don't wanna spoil it. He's just known as boss. Oh, he's farting. Nice, quiet. You know those moments like when your stomach is really bubbling, like you're just trying to hold it in so you don't poo yourself? Okay, he's getting a little, uh, a little existential for us. Gonna probably open someone's portal. Ooh, Dialga, the mythical Pokemon. We might have seen that. There was a statue in Eterna City. Uh oh, orb. Oh, it's getting weird in here. I like that it's during the day too, even though I am playing at night. Oh man, look at that. Oh yeah, check that bad boy out. That's the same kind of color looking sky. If you've played through Arceus, you'll get to a point where it looks like this. The destruction of all things. Oh, that's pretty uncool. Come on, man. Can you feel time distorting? Can you feel it? Yeah, this is pretty rude. I guess we'll just have to be a child and stop this crazy man. It is not. It's I mean, it. it's not technically the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. What I think is interesting, too, is that in Arceus, they refer to Arceus as Sinnoh. So, and Sinnoh was known as Hisui back then. The ancient deity of time. If you've played, uh... Oh, that looked lame. That, that didn't feel like a very good restricting animation. Also, this chain is like... It looks like it's the wrong resolution for it. What did that say? Gugaba? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, this guy's insane. Great! Maybe we should fight him. Fight this unstable man. He wants to become a deity. Okay. I remember that cutscene being like cooler in uh, in the originals. Let's go ahead and save. I'm not feeling super confident. Yeah. All right. And if we go forward here, I think we have, do we have to fight all three of these back to back. I mean, I'm not upset about that. Or maybe this is a double battle. 
because it's Barry. Yes, I do remember this. Here we go. Ooh, Barry's here to party. That's my kind of guy. Oh, he wasn't crying. His eyes were sweating because it was cold out. Leave him alone. Oh yeah, double battle time, baby. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh, it's a full team of six. Prepare yourselves. I think Barry actually has a pretty decent team, so... Oh, but he starts with a Munchlax. Munchlax, the pre-evolution to Snorlax. Introduced in this game. Pretty cool. Not the best Pokemon. Also, their levels are a bit higher than I was expecting. Oh! Here we go. Now it's going to take eons. Alright, that's dumb. So they have special and regular defenses. Our, it's going to be through the roof. Alright, I'm just going to focus on that one. You know what? I don't care about his Munchlax, so Bulldoze it is. Does, do they both know Levitate? Oh my gosh. Of course, the one time I run... Wait. So that does that just hit Munchlax? That didn't even show what damage that did. <laughs> Munchlax is thick, though. It's fine. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I definitely didn't do any damage. That was stupid. Well, it was worth a try. The one time that that I go and I face the bronze or that has levitate, most of the time I don't have it. This is brutal right now, though. Being unable to do a ton of damage against these guys is real annoying. But it's a good opportunity to get experience for Grayson. Oh, this battle is going to be rough. I am not a fan. I am only a fan of battles where there aren't a ton of debuffs out on the field to make things take forever. Ugh, yeah. This is just wasting time. At least attack me, you cowards. There you go. Hit me with your best shot. I love Munchlax, though, as a Pokemon. It's so goofy looking. There were a few, a few um, pre-evolutions they made in this game. You know, Munchlax, Mime Jr., Bonsly, Happy Knee. I think that was it. But man, they are really bringing out some absolute tanks right now. I want to see if I can hopefully finish off this Bronzor before this Perugly nukes me with like an Ice Beam or something. Ooh, Barry's getting wise. I probably should have switched out. Ooh, he has a Heracross? I didn't know that. I've talked pretty he pretty heavily and pretty fondly about... Oh, boy. This could be bad. Hang in there, Grayson. Nice. Can we do it? No. Great. Awesome. I mean, not that I expected it to, but... Oof. Well, we're going to have to waste a turn with Revive, because I do want Grayson to catch all the experiences. Oh... Would have been nice if that happened a turn sooner. I don't think that Raymond is going to be able to knock out a Perugly with a Force Palm, but maybe Heracross will do some chip damage first. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste the turn with the revive yet. Oh man, <laughs> that's not cool. Well, at least it's gonna take out Bronzor hopefully. Very good. Man, that Bronzor has a ton of defense. Well, if you like tank Pokemon, Bronzor is your uh, I think. Oh, that really sucks too. Grayson not getting any experience is kind of a bummer. It's a really strong Pregly. And Golbat? Yeah, this is, uh, it's kind of bad news. I'm gonna switch if I can. <laughs> Raymond, now is not the time, okay? I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to hold it together. We unfortunately are not in any place where petting, even the heavy kind, is gonna be socially acceptable. We're in the middle of uh, outer space here. And we're about to fight the deity of time, maybe? After this double battle. This is actually probably one of my favorite parts of the game, just because it feels like there's a little bit of... Um, there's a little bit of... I guess... Kind of urgency, which there isn't for a lot of the game. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I would have used a max revive, but that would be a bit of a waste. I have plenty of regular revives, wherever they are. Regular revives, plenty of them. 
So we'll just heal Grayson, hopefully get some uh, experience on the backside. Ooh, paralyzed. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't know you had Giga Drain. That's rude. Oof. Yeah, I'm kind of getting, uh, kind of getting pooed on right now. This is not good. And of course, oh my gosh. This is not going well for the old D Mike here in this double battle. That was a waste. Oh, Grayson, if only you could have not been confused and reflected and light screened. How dare you? All right. The main problem I'm having is just that these Pokemon are so fast. All right, they've already knocked out two of Barry's team. I know that he still has his, uh... He should still have... What is it, Ponyta? He's still got Piplup on deck somewhere. I just hope that I'm fast enough to maybe outspeed this Golbat. I doubt it. Ooh, boy. Need to get a... Need to get Miguel in there. Are you about to waste this? No? Nice. Can we can we do it together? Alright. It's definitely gonna kill that ponytail though the moment it hits it with dig. Oh my goodness. What a pain in the absolute buns. Alright. I'm gonna switch to Miguel here though. So that way the dig does not do us un unnecessary harm. We haven't seen much of Miguel yet. Honchkar is great. Oh, I was going after Ponyta anyway. Man, Barry is just getting absolute his poo pushed in right now. I am so sorry, Barry. Yeah, he's still got um, Impo oh, he's got an Napoleon now. All right, Napoleon's great. All the final level versions of the starters are very good. No, I don't use Brave Bird. Are very good in this game. I'm a big fan. So they each had a Bronze or this is their second Pokemon, I think. Oh, well, that was what I was going to do. Napoleon's faster than a Honchkrow? Okay. Whatever. Zen, ooh, that's a good move. Is Zen Headbutt a physical move? Ooh, it is. That's a neat one, too. We've got Iron Tail, Rock Tomb. We have Rock Slide, which I think it might learn. And it's probably better than regular Headbutt, so... You know what? Let's do a, a little Psychic Headbutt. It's always funny whenever you fight Pokemon and you're like, yeah, right, I'm gonna use a fighting move on this one, and then it's like, actually, I'm gonna Zen Headbutt you into oblivion. All right, Skun Tank. Gonna need to bring out the big guns on this one, but I probably would die if I did it, so I'm just gonna have to use regular Wing Attack. Oh, man. Barry, you just like picked the worst team ever to fight these guys. Well, that was good. At least we took out Prugly. That Prugly was tough. This is actually a pretty difficult battle, all things considered. Can't imagine this being something I would have done well if I would have had to fight them all by myself. I would have had a little bit more control. Okay. Ooh, man. Hey, burned your bird. You don't want that. That's how you ruin a Thanksgiving. Thankfully, that did not go after me, though. So I think the two of us combined should be able to take out Skun Tank. And there's one Gold Bat. So they each have a Gold Bat. They each have their their Ace, the Skun Tank, and the Perugly. And then the Bronzors. So that's not that's not horrible. That's a man. That's a strong move. I like it. Hopefully, my guys can hang in there a little bit. I just love that Skun Tank knows Flamethrower because it seems like it should not know it, but I'm pretty sure it learns it. I think it's a very strange move, and I love it. Now, of course, it has a... Also, why does the berry look like it's eating an almond? I feel, I feel like almonds are bad for the environment. Stop eating almonds. All right. I just want to finish this fight. There's bigger and better things to come, everybody, I promise. This is not... This is not the coup de gras. This is not the finale of this episode. I absolutely promise you. Yeah, they really just hate Barry so much. They have double teamed Barry a ton. I don't know if Barry has any more Pokemon, to be honest. I'm curious if he has anything else to throw out. I think, oh, he does. Oh, he has a Staraptor too. Nice. 
We get to see Barry's entire team. That's neat. How about that? All right, and then I think we could get Grayson out there for one more turn. I'm trying to get Grayson to 40. I wouldn't have pumped in so many of those rare candies to, to Raymond. This would be a different story. Oh, don't use double team attack, you ding dong. <sighs> Barry. What are, you, what are you doing to us, bud? Belch? Oh my gosh, what on earth move is that? Ooh, this would be a perfect movie as a bird type. Bird type, that's not a thing. Flying type. I think it actually was supposed to be bird type or like something like that originally before it became flying type, so it's not too far off the mark. But getting Grayson in there gets him a little bit more experience. It's like one and a half times. Maybe just one times, I don't know. All right, everybody's getting level ups. This is awesome. The entire team is just about up there. Oh, oh. Should have done the fighting yourself. You did. No match for the boss. I think we actually do have to fight him right now too. Aw, thanks, Barry. He's a mobile Pokemon center. Who knew that Barry was practicing medicine in his free time? It's your show now. Oh man, look at this. It's about to get wild, everybody. Oh, Dialga. Sounds very longing. This is everything I've wanted. Oh, it's throbbing. Look at that. My new world. Yeah, this is cool, but like this scene in Platinum is obviously very different and it's much cooler. <gasps> Guys, it's the Pokemon we freed. Remember? It sounds like a song from Chrono Trigger. They're helping us out. I wish that I, like, was dramatic enough to be like, Oh, oh, they're here. They're here to save us. Like, I'm just not going to act it up. I can't do it. I'm not good enough of a Let's Player yet. I haven't leveled up. Ooh, they're breaking the chains. Stopping Diago from getting out of hand. I don't know if that's what their intent was originally. You know, in the lore. Oh, oh man, that would make a great thumbnail. Oh man. It's mess spread. That's a great look too. Also... <laughs> That micro zoom was a little unnecessary. Oh man, we undid all of his work. And all we had to do was infiltrate his dumb hideout. I think they had to use a little bit of essence from each of the three. Ooh, man, look at that. He man, he grumpy boy. Oh yes, we get to hear his theme again. Ooh yeah. Did they say his name finally? There it is. Is it always said it? I don't know. He's a Honchkrow now, though. That's exciting. I don't have anybody on my team that's good against Honchkrow. Oops. I suppose... We could do... No, wait. Craig's okay. This is, uh, this is a good fight. This is an exciting one. This episode might run a little bit long, but it should make up for not having done anything previously. Defog? Oh, is that like Flash? That lower my accuracy. Oh, it lowers my evasiveness. What a waste. You dummy. Okay. Let's give him the old taste of the rock tomb. Blap. It should lower its speed, I think. Yeah. I don't know if Honchkrow is known for being particularly fast, but... Why? Why are you wasting two turns? I mean, this works for me, though. It, it gets me back into... The normal. Oh, he has a full restore. Gets me back into the normal rotation. So, I like how casual he is. Like we're having this Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't have good. Exp what is the ninety-five? Okay, of course I missed the five percent proc. Great. Wonderful. Oh, but I hit the range using all kinds of buzzwords. Proc is basically just like often something happens. So five percent of the time. 
it's gonna miss, so I did miss. And then the range is the amount of damage it does. Usually in these games, it rolls a number of like plus or minus, it's gonna be able to uh, do a certain amount of damage. Like it, it combines two numbers and then divides it. So it's gonna give you a range of, this is how much damage it's gonna do on the low side, this is how much damage it's gonna do on the high side. And uh, yeah, so we got the, uh, we got the high side of damage on that one. I don't have anything that's good against a Gyarados, which is awesome. I love that. This Gyarados probably also knows like Ice Fang or something. This fight is also going to be rough because I am underleveled. Okay. Did not give me a chance to switch out my Pokemon either, so... Let's see how much a Nightshade does really quick. Yep, it does know Ice Fang. Of course it does! I feel like all my Pokemon are relatively weak to... Uh, they're relatively weak. Nice. Okay. This is not great. But I know that Gyarados is also part flying type, so maybe an ancient power in there would be okay. Samuel's pretty thick. Could be able to stall a little bit. Not weak to ice, thankfully. But we're not very fast, so we'll see. Ooh, it knows Earthquake. That's uncool. Yikes. That is a beefy move. Probably not going to do a ton. This is going to be a kill by committee, I have a feeling. Oh, boy. I do not have a good answer for this, unfortunately. Everything that I have is very, very weak to, uh, to ice. I guess I could heal. Are you down? Yeah, we're down by exactly 99 HP. And this Gyarados is probably pretty fast. Ah, you dummy. You tried to use a water move, and you lost your turn. That was really lucky, actually. So that's pretty cool. Good job, Samuel. And this Gyarados has an awesome moveset. Jeez. Crunch, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Waterfall. What a great Gyarados. I would love to have a Gyarados if I was not being so picky. Oh, don't, a Super Potion? I haven't used Super Potion since like, I don't know. Like the second gym? I'm above that. Once we get into the into the dairy industry, there's no need. I right, do we have one more, or two more Ancient Powers? Usually with Ancient Power, I shouldn't say usually, I say sometimes. Sometimes you'll get the ancient power boost where every time you use it or <laughs> I don't even know why I'm using absolutes when I speak sometimes when you use ancient power you'll occasionally get the boost which raises all of your stats which is really nice it's actually not really a good move on Samuel because it is special and Samuel's more of a physical attacker but that's okay it's neither here nor there foul play what is foul play User turns the target's power against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this deals. I mean, that's a lot better than assurance. And our attack stat is through the absolute roof, so let's do it. Good move. I love dark type moves because I don't know much about them, but they're always pretty good. Weavile, ooh. An ice and dark type. Good job, Samuel, you did do a good job. All right, I guess I was gonna Keep it a secret, but I can't. So Weavile, new to this generation, is the evolution of Sneasel, if you couldn't guess. Pretty obvious. It's also incredibly high leveled and going to destroy Raymond. Ooh boy. Yikes. This is gonna be tough. Does it say 48? Yeah, I don't, I don't. I know it's probably it knows ice moves, so I don't really have anything. I don't think anything can survive, ah boy. This is rough. Um, it's... Yeah, we'll just try an Iron Tail. Probably won't be able to get it up. Nope. The best thing I can do here is switch to Miguel, I guess. But everything that I have is weak to Ice types, and he has Pokemon that know half those moves. Okay. Um, Miguel it is. We don't want to eat a full force dig to the face. Sorry, Raymond, you were sacrificed. I didn't know that it was going to know Aerial Ace. All right, let's see if we can get in something quick. Maybe a Brave Bird. It also knows Air... Wait, I don't know why I said that. It used Air Lace already. This is probably going to kill uh, 
kill Miguel. Oops. Nope. That's pretty good, though. Took down most of Weavile's health. Weavile's a great Pokemon, by the way. If you thought Sneasel was good. Oh, man. All right. Let's do a mirror match here. This is like Ash's Pikachu against Raichu. This might wind up being one of the longest episodes in the series. Hang in there, Suzanne. I don't think we're fast enough to outspeed it. But if we did, that'd be... Oh my gosh. Stop doing this. It's rude. I wish I had a move that would be able to counter that. I don't. Uh, this is just a whole lot of swapping. That's not exciting. That doesn't make for a good video. Hang in there, Miguel. Keeps using... Yeah, it keeps using um, Dig. I don't know why. It really wants to hit us with Dig. If you could just stop for like one turn and do something different, not an Ice type move, that'd be awesome. All right, Aerial Ace. But once again, it's so fast that it's just gonna keep digging. I guarantee it. Okay. If you could just. Oh my God. Why are you the way that you are? You know, honestly, I bet Craig can eat a dig, so we'll find out. Yeah, so Craig's a thick boy, hangs in there, just don't miss. Yes, okay. So that worked. I think he has one more. Was that it? Honch Crow, Gyarados. Oh man, that's so much experience for Raymond to miss. No! No, he's Crobat. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of our best bet, unfortunately. I pushed him to this extreme. This is actually a good battle. This is probably the first time I've really felt like I'm struggling. That sounds really cocky. Yeah, this game is so, this game for kids is so easy. That's a lie. I mean, the some of the fights against the gym leaders have been pretty tough. Also, thrilled to bits. Who are you going to U-turn with? You don't have anybody left on your team. You're all, they're all dead. Alright, so it's a poison and flying type. So we can use Zen Head, but we haven't seen that yet, so here we go. And Craig's tanking some hits. I'm not entirely sure why it's using bug moves. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Alright, Craig. Actually, I think... This would be a good chance to... If we can tank one more hit, we can get Raymond a little kiss of that Crobat experience. Yeah, I apologize for this episode being so long, but you're getting all kinds of content today. All right, let's uh, see if we can finish it off with a rock. It really loves... It really loves U-Turn. That's not its best move. It probably could have killed me with something else much sooner. You big dummy. That was a good team. This team that he used in that hideout sucked, but that was pretty impressive. Yeah, nice. Good for everybody. Oh, Samuel's got more special attack now. I guess Ancient Power is an option. The power of mythology. That's right. Let's all only believe in the past. What do you consider perfection? Uh, chocolate and peanut butter. All right. I will not give up. Ooh, there's plenty of people that believe that, and they are crazy. Okay. Well, it looks like it's just uh, less than the big guy. Oh, but wait, there's more. Yeah, I don't know. How could you tell? It's waiting for us. It's a challenge as a test. Okay. We have to stop it. It's a ch- Oh my goodness. Was he crying when he said it? Aw, oh, Barry believes in us. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks, Barry. But we'll have to do this next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I'll see you next time. Bye.